What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1001 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you will learn about common issues associated with printers. Let's talk about streaks. So there are a variety of reasons as to how streaks and smudges can be an issue. And a lot of these reasons are mostly dependent upon the type of printer that's in use. So here are some of the various reasons for streaks and various types of printers. You have laser printers. So this could be caused due to low toner being the typical cause for uneven printing, blank spots and random streaks. The solution is to remove the toner cartridge and shake it up a little to redistribute the toner. Long vertical streaks across the page are usually caused by damage to the imaging drum. The solution is to replace the drum or the toner cartridge. Next, we have inkjet printers. So dirty print heads or paper rollers, incorrect head gap settings, and incorrect resolution and media settings are the typical reasons for smudges and streaks. The solution is to clean the print heads, use a cleaning sheet to clean the paper rollers, check the print resolution settings in the operating systems and printer properties. Thermal printers. So media and print heads are the typical problems for producing streaks with thermal printers. You need to replace the media if the coating is of poor quality. If pre-printed ink on the media sticks to the print head, you need to replace the media with media printing using heat resistant ink. And then you need to clean the heating element if it is dirty. And then when it comes to impact printers, dried out ribbons are usually the cause for streaks being produced in impact printers. If the printer has an ink reservoir, and it's empty, you need to replace the ink. If not, then just simply replace the ribbon. Let's talk about faded prints. So there are a variety of reasons as to how faded prints can be an issue. And a lot of these reasons are mostly dependent upon the type of printer that is in use. So here are some of the various reasons for faded prints and various types of printers. You have laser printers. So set the printer in a mode that uses less toner. Ensure that the printer is set to use normal print modes for final drafts. Also check the toner levels and operation of the toner belt. When it comes to inkjet printers, if you haven't used the printer, Printer in a while, you need to check to make sure that the print nozzles are not clogged and that all the ink colors have not run out. Be sure to clean the nozzles and use the nozzle check utility to ensure proper operation and also replace any empty ink cartridges. When it comes to thermal printers, you need to ensure that the ribbon is installed correctly and is not installed backwards. If there is still an issue with faded prints, you need to make sure that you are using the proper ribbon for the proper printer. And when it comes to impact printers, you need to check to ensure that the ribbon is not dried out. If it is, go ahead and replace the ribbon. You also need to ensure that the head gaps are not set too wide apart in order to improve printing and to protect the print head from the cartridge. Let's talk about ghost images. So ghost printing happens when an image or text is repeated more than once on a printed page. This is often caused by an issue with the laser printers, toner cartridge, imaging drum, wiper blade, or the fusing unit. To fix this, you need to first consult the service manual for the printer and then clean or replace any defective components. Let's talk about if the toner is not fused to the paper. So toner in a laser printer not being fused to the paper is the result of a failed fuser. Fuses are designed to heat the paper to allow for the toner to fuse to the paper. If the toner ink is not sticking to the paper, you need to replace the fuser. Let's talk about crease paper. So incorrect adjustments to the paper guides that feed paper into the printer are the typical cause for crease paper. You need to ensure that the paper guides are adjusted to the correct width to prevent the paper from moving side to side during the print process, which can produce creased paper. What if the paper is not feeding? So paper not feeding can vary by printer. So in the case of inkjet, laser, or impact printers, you need to check the paper's positioning in the paper tray and also check to ensure that the paper pickup rollers are still functional. And when it comes to impact and thermal printers, you need to check tension rollers and tractor feed mechanisms to ensure that they are operational. 
If you're experiencing paper jams, this could be caused due to a variety of reasons such as the paper path issues. So paper moving through inkjet, laser, and dot matrix or impact printers typically follow a complex path of passing by various rollers and or push tractors. The more passes the paper makes, the higher the chance of the paper jamming. If the paper offers a straight through path as to where the printer has a rear paper tray that could be used to override the main paper tray to reduce the print path, use the rear paper tray in conjunction with the main paper tray. What about paper loading, paper type, and media thickness? You need to ensure that the proper paper type and proper paper thickness is being loaded properly. And then what if you have media that is caught inside of the printer? So avoid using creased and damp paper for printing to prevent the paper from getting jammed up inside of the printer or ripping apart during the print process. If that happens, you have to clear out the jammed up paper and or debris before continuing on with the print process. What if you have no connectivity to the printer? So you need to check for loose printer or network cables, check for router or switch failures, and then check the network settings for the printer, such as the SSID settings, the ad hoc settings, and whether or not you have a weak Wi-Fi signal. What if you have garbled up characters that are printed on the paper? So garbled up characters or gibberish characters are the result of various reasons. So you need to check to ensure that the proper print drivers are installed. If the printer can be used in emulation mode, you need to ensure that the correct print drivers are installed and configured properly. If you use a parallel printer cable, this can produce garbled characters as well. What if you have vertical lines on the page? So vertical lines can be caused due to a variety of issues. So when it comes to laser printers, vertical lines can be caused due to debris being stuck on the imaging drum. There's surface damage to the imaging drum. There are dirty components in the printer, such as diffuser, paper roller, charging rollers, etc. And then you need to replace the imaging drum and then clean all the other components. When it comes to an inkjet printer, this can be caused due to the feed roller, and if that is the case, you need to go ahead and clean the feed roller. If you're dealing with a thermal printer that's printing vertical lines, it's more than likely due to a dirty heating element or a failure of the heating element. Angled streaks, they can be caused by a creased ribbon. So if that's the case, you need to adjust the ribbon feed mechanism. And then if you're dealing with these issues with an impact printer, more than likely you have dirt on the paper. And if so, you need to replace the paper. What if you're experiencing backed up print cues? So backed up print cues are caused by printer spools that have been switched to offline mode. Your printer goes offline, the printer is turned off, or the printer has stopped for some other reason. Printer cues are filled up until the print jobs are dealt with. So once this happens, the printer will go back online and then release the print jobs, or it can kill all the print jobs, or you can go ahead and just kill selected print jobs. Now to access the print queue, you need to open the printer icon in the notification area or go to the printers or devices and printers and then open up the printer icon. If you're dealing with low memory errors, these are caused by attempting to print a page in a laser printer that requires more memory than laser printer contains. The laser printer will attempt to print the page, but then stop once it reaches its memory limit. The laser printer will then display a low memory error message or blinking error lights, which will then require for you to manually eject the page from the printer with only a portion of the page being printed. To resolve this issue, you need to use the printer's data compression, which will cause the printer to print more pages while slowing down the print process. You can successfully do this by reducing the resolution of the print job, reducing the size or eliminating graphics on the page, converting color photos to black and white before you begin the print job. And the best solution is to just simply add more RAM to the printer. If you come across an access denied message, this means that the network printer that you are attempting to print to is preventing your account from gaining access to the printer. So you need to check with your admin to get print rights to that printer. If your printer will not print, you need to ensure that you are attempting to print to the correct printer. If you are using a network printer, you need to check the toner cartridge. If you're using a laser printer and it's only producing blank prints, you need to check to make sure that the network printer hasn't been restricted to certain hours of activity. You need to check to make sure that the correct printer port has been selected when manually setting up a printer. You need to check print cables to make sure that they are correctly connected and not damaged. And 
And if you are using a mobile device to print, you need to make sure you have a print app installed that matches your brand and model of the printer. If you are producing color prints in the wrong print color, this could be normally caused by clogged print heads on ink jets or low and empty toner cartridges and laser printers. You need to use the printer's Windows interface for managing the print preferences, such as ink levels, color management, cleaning and aligning print heads, nozzle checks, conditions of rollers, etc. to fix the problem. If you are unable to install a printer, the most likely reason as to why this is, is that a user does not have admin privileges to install or uninstall a printer. So you need to check with your system or network administrator about whether or not you are allowed to have elevated privileges in regards to that printer. If you are printing blank pages, you need to check the following. Check to ensure that the tape or the toner cartridge has been removed prior to printing. You need to check to ensure that the printer is not feeding multiple sheets at a time during the print process. And you also need to ensure that the paper is not sticking together. And then check the network configurations if you are using a network printer. If you have no image on the printer display, so to resolve this issue, you need to ensure that the printer is powered on and then wake the display up by pressing a button to quote unquote, wake it up. If printing directly from a memory card, you need to ensure that the images on the memory card are in the proper file format prior to printing, such as JPEG and not raw. And then you need to check to make sure that all cables are plugged in and secure. And then finally, let's talk about failed jobs and print logs. So Windows 10 allows for users to track print jobs by way of enabling print logs on a network printer. To track the print jobs in the event viewer, just simply open up the event viewer in the left pane, expand the applications and services logs, Microsoft Windows and print services to enable print, right click operational, then select properties, and then check the enable logging box. All right. So in summary, we have talked about common printer issues. Now, if you felt like you got something valuable from this information, go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1001 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.